Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes and thank you for joining us. If you're new here, thank you for coming aboard. Um, I try to put out videos here on a regular basis, usually a daily basis if I try to. Uh, sometimes I put out multiple videos a day, it just depends on how the news goes. And with that said, please consider subscribing to this channel when you do make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future video releases let's get into today's video because we're talking about Deron Payne now the trade deadline has come and gone for the Washington Commanders and the only business that we really did was trading away William Jackson the uh, but there were some reports that plenty of teams were interested in Deron Payne and the Commanders were contacted by those teams who were interested. Now, however, the commanders made it clear that they were not interested in trading Deron Payne whatsoever. You know, since Fedoria Mathis went down with a season ending injury earlier in the season, Payne suddenly became much more valuable to the Washington commanders. Um, it seems to be that Mathis probably was Payne's replacement. Um, you know, and had Mathis not gotten hurt, maybe Payne was on the trading blocks. We don't know. Uh, this is all assumption on my part, on the media's part. Who knows? Um, and this is, of course, assuming if you know Fedoria Mathis was as advertised and was going to be as good as we were expecting him to be. Uh, you know. Payne, of course, like I said, he's, he's playing in his last year of his contract. Um, and Ron Rivera, though, he has stated that he does want Payne to come back to the Washington Commanders next season. But, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, actions speak louder than words, right? And you go and you draft the Fedoria Mathis. Clearly is an indication that you want to replace Ron Payne. I mean, that that's, that's what it looks like to me. And also, you don't... You don't have contract talks with Deron Payne. You don't extend his contract at all. So you're forcing him to basically play as a lame duck, you know, defensive tackle in this season, and you're not extending him. There's no talks. It all to me it all points to it all points to you're not going to be here next season. And then now Mathis goes down, suddenly he becomes more important. You know, I think Duran has paid, played very well this season. Uh, you know, the defensive line is one of the strongest points of this Washington Commanders team, obviously. And, you know, I, for one, I'm always really nervous about breaking up a unit that is one of the strong points. And especially when this team has struggled to, you know, make that next step to becoming a better team. And you want to start breaking up one of the stronger areas that you have, I just, I get nervous with that. You know, I think you've worked so hard to solidify those areas. You know, you work so hard to have one of the best defensive lines in football, and then you want to start slowly losing those guys. I just, to me, I don't get it. Um, but anyway, um, it's funny, I was reading some trade proposals, uh, one that I read on, on the CBS uh, website, uh, seemed like they were talking about a pretty low trade proposal for Deron Payne if it would happen. You know, they were talking about maybe some mid-round, you know, draft picks. And to me, mid-round means like fourth round. And I think that, you know, it could be the uh, burgundy and gold colored glasses that I'm wearing, but... I just personally, I think that he's worth more than that. You know, he he's a former first round draft pick, right? And he hasn't played badly. He's played well. He's played well all these years. I think he was worth more than you know fourth round draft picks, and that's just my opinion. Um, as low as I would probably go would be third round draft picks, and it would have to be multiple draft picks. I don't think you just do one draft pick and that's it. Um, it would have to have been multiple draft picks. But um, at any rate, that that's my opinion. I, I just don't think that teams were offering enough for Deron Payne. 
And I think the Washington Commanders probably would have moved him for the right price. I just don't think that anybody out there was really, truly offering enough for him. And right now, quite frankly, the Washington Commanders needed him a lot since Fedorian Mathis went down. And they're going to have to make a decision on what they're going to do next season, obviously, because, you know, Mathis may not be 100% come next season. So you really do need somebody like Ron Payne in there, and they may be forced to re-sign him. And that wouldn't be such a bad thing, you know, coming from a talent-wise. I would like to keep Ron Payne, work Mathis in there, and then maybe, who knows, maybe down the road you could entertain, uh, you know, trade talks at that point. Um, It's possible, you know. The NFL is is a business, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm nasally today. Uh, The NFL is a business, and we all know this, but um, you you gotta be smart with this. And obviously, you know, this is one of those unfortunate incidents where I think, you know, the commanders probably had in their minds that if Mathis played really well, then they would consider trading pain midway through the season and pick up some more draft picks. That's probably what they were thinking. And then, you know, Mathis went down with an injury and that probably changed the landscape of everything. And now, of course, you know, they're thinking, well, now we don't want to get rid of Deron Payne. Um, I'm probably not too far off from that, I bet. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments section what you think. Uh, Deron Payne sticking around, uh, which is a good thing for us. Uh, don't know about next year. We'll wait and see. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.